Hey guys, this is Fidel Master Michel. Today we are gonna learn how to play Italian game. This is a very good opening, one of my favorite for beginners, and at the same time it is so strong that even in the elite they play it very often. Keep watching. We have Italian game on the board after the moves e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, bishop c4. The idea with this move is to develop pieces on the king side very quickly but also the bishop is developed to a very natural square on c4 where it is going to be attacking f7 so as long as the king is in the middle of the board the bishop is going to be very well but also later in the middle game when black castles the bishop is going to be very well in this diagonal something we need to mention about the order of the moves is that we could be playing bishop c4 first in move number 2 and the idea is to avoid Petrov defense, which is a good uh, defense for black. So at some point we can consider bishop c4 first, and after knight f6 we play d3, and then we continue with a normal development for Italian game, for maybe for Yuko Pianissimo, uh, playing a Yuko Pianissimo scam, and then we're going to be fine in the middle game, and we avoided that strong defense where probably your opponent is going to be very well prepared. In this position, black can play two main lines, bishop c5, yuko piano, or knight f6 to knight's defense. There are other alternative lines, not as strong maybe, like a6 anti fried liver, and also knight d4, which is a tricky line we need to know. So let's start with a6. The idea with this move is to control g5, so the move knight g5 does not exist when they develop the knight. And the idea is good, but the problem is that we are in the opening and we are supposed to be developing pieces. So right now, why we have a lead in development, and what I suggest in these positions is to try to open the center, so the activity and the lead in development can be exploited by white. So something like d4 immediately, or maybe just castling, planning to play d4 as soon as possible, is going to be a good idea. Even if black plays bishop c5, we can play c3, followed by d4. And this position in general is going to be a little better for white. Another side line I want to mention is this knight d4. And then uh, if we capture the pawn on e5, we are falling for the trick. Because then black can play queen g5, attacking the knight and attacking the pawn. And well, uh, if we capture here, wanting to fork, then we're going to be lost because there is queen g2 getting the rook, the only defense is rook here, but then queen takes pawn, and if we block knight of 3 with checkmate. So this is a famous trick when black plays knight d4 in the opening, in this line, we don't have to capture the pawn on e5, that should be a mistake or at least a dubious move. The best line here for white is knight takes knight, and then we castle, and this position is clearly better for white. So let's see one of the main lines, knight of 6 two knights defense and here we have some ways to play like d3 or maybe knight c3 and it's going to be fine it's probably a slow game very slightly better or more or less equal in the middle game but there's this aggressive line with knight g5 which is going to be very well i think and then we're getting f7 so the only move for black is d5 then we will capture and then again the only move for black is knight a5 there is this famous a variation where uh, black captures the pawn on d5 and then we can play the fried liver attack with knight takes f7 and the idea is that after king takes we play queen f3 uh, check and also getting the knight uh, we are not going to study fried liver in this video but in general white can get good positions and a very good compensation or in general clearly better position for the piece down so if we can get into this, it's going to be very well for white. So in general, in this position, the best move for black is knight a5. And then we can check. Black can play here uh, c6 or bishop d7. After bishop d7, we will play queen e2, defending the bishop on b5, also attacking the pawn on e5. In these positions, in general, we have a pawn up, but black can get some compensation for that pawn down. Also, in some positions, they don't get compensation, but they just capture the pawn back. 
in the next moves we are going to castle, knight c3, d3, uh, the knight comes back maybe to coordinate and connect our pieces a little better and well this is going to be more or less an equal mid game also after bishop b5 black can play c6 and then we trade and we play queen f3 this is one of the best moves here uh, pinning the pawn so we, they cannot capture the bishop one more time we have a pawn up black could be getting some compensation at some point but this is a very interesting position dynamic and more or less balanced and then we have probably the most popular move in this position Juco Piano with Bishop C5 here we have some ways to play like Knight C3, like D3 like Castling there is even some D4 over there playing like a Gambit and well actually my favorite line here is C3 C3 is very well because we are controlling this square so the Knight is not going to be uh, it's going to be dominated during the middle game but the main idea after this move is to play some d4 or to threaten some d4 so maybe in the next moves or a little later in the middle game we will be playing this idea controlling the center with two pawns and this is going to be very well for white also we can play I didn't mention b4 which is Evans Gambit and we already studied that interesting variation here in the channel so let's go back to c3 and here black can play knight f6 is going to be the main option attacking the center preparing to castle and one more time we have some options this is a very aggressive variation with uh, d4 also very tricky and when black captures we could be playing c takes d4 and then black will give some check over here that's an interesting line it's a little uh, sharp in some uh, variations also we could be playing e5 here attacking the knight it's not clear how can black solve the problem of the knight so those are interesting options here but actually the line I want to suggest is this d3 this is Yuko Pianissimo the idea here is that we are going to continue improving our pieces very slowly and maybe later in the middle game when our pieces are in good positions we will be playing d4 if we want because also in some positions we could be creating some kind of attack on the king side and maybe then we don't need to break well after d3 the main line for black here is going to be this a6 this is a typical move and the idea is that they want to clear this square so they keep the bishop in that diagonal here a main line is bishop b3 with the same idea to make sure we're not losing the bishop because sometimes black can be playing knight a5 getting our bishop so this is like a prophylactic idea to avoid our bishop to be traded for the knight then black can play here d6 and we castle bishop a7 and knight b d2 in these positions the pawn on c3 is blocking the natural development square for that knight so we need to find a way to develop the knight but also to clear the line for our bishop and it is by using this plan of knight d1, knight f1 or sometimes also knight c4 is going to be very playable so let's see how this continues after knight d2, black and castle and then this typical idea of a3 and the idea is that we are avoiding bishop g4 and also we are avoiding ideas with knight g4 which could be annoying so with some pressure on f2 notice in the main line white is playing a3 after black already castle and there might be a good reason for this if we play a3 too early black has the option not to castle kingside and play with a6 and g5 and the idea is that now they have a good point here to break and open lines against our king and they could consider castling queenside and the position is very risky in general the engines will say white is slightly better but for humans it's clearly easier to play as black in these positions where black is attacking and white has to be defending so the idea here is that uh, I could say do not play a3 until black already castle and then uh, the game could continue like a6 rook e1 this is an important move because we want to clear f1 for the knight then bishop e6 is a very normal move here trying to stop our great bishop in this diagonal and 
well, here we have many ways to play. Probably knight f1 is a good option, but also other moves like bishop c2 or knight c4 going to e3 later, or even bishop takes bishop. These moves are all of them are fine in general. The game is going to be more or less equal, but it's a very easy game. There is a problem with the knight on c6. As we said in the opening, the knight is always going to be dominated. So very often, a good plan for black is going to be to bring the knight to g6, trying to get a 4. A very interesting square for white in these positions is this a5. So very often, we can play knight g3. And also, maybe later, we could be planning some knight h4. Something we need to say is that uh, when we play this knight h4, we need to make sure the sacrifice knight takes pawn. Trying to get our knight with a discovered attack is not really working. So, in general, if we can play, it's going to be very well, but make sure, uh, for example, knight takes pawn or some knight g4 are not working when we play this. But if we can do knight h4, knight f5 is very well, because if there is a trade, we don't have to recapture with the pawn. We can recapture with a piece, and we can keep a piece there in that interesting square. Also, we want to mention the fact that the pawn is on h6 and this is going to weaken a little more f5 since now to play g6 uh, it's not going to be so easy for black because the pawn is hanging on h6. So in general, this necessary move h6 is weakening a little more this f5. And finally, uh, we should highlight the idea of breaking over the center with d4 which which was one of the main ideas in the opening and is it still possible, is it still playable and it's something we can do in the middle game and also the idea of bishop is free trying to get rid of this good bishop if you have any question about Italian game or if you want to share your experience about what happened when you played it feel free to write it in the comments I hope you have enjoyed this video, help my channel with some like if it was like that, subscribe so you get notifications for my next videos, never stop believing, see you in the next.